Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you. And may the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Word of God, come to meet your needs and your pain and your problems, opening your understanding, because this is fundamental. It's the basics in order for you to be able to enjoy the benefits of the intelligent faith. When Jesus was tempted by the devil in the desert, Jesus answered the devil saying the following. In the very first attempt, he answered saying, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God, which means it's not just bread, but people usually worry about the bread. The bread here is not just our daily bread, food, but it's, it's money, it's a house and family, and getting married and getting engaged and which profession to follow and everything that involves this physical, material world. Here we understand that this is the bread. Human beings, because they cannot see their inner being, they cannot see their soul, men is bound to take care of their body, the physical body. And so, because of that, they get busy taking care of the physical things their entire life. And because of that, they lose the power to live by faith, from faith to faith, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I say this, my dear friend, so that you can understand that the Word, the Word of God, is more important than our daily bread. The same thing, the soul, what is more important, the soul or the body? Well, you are going to say, Bishop, both are important. But which one is more important? To which one do you pay more attention to? Your body or your soul? When a person meditates upon the Word of God, when they fear God, then they can realize that their soul is eternal. It lives forever. With God or in hell, but it will live forever for all eternity, for all eternity. And this causes me fear and trembling because my, my body, I know that it will last a few years, but then it will die and be buried and vanish. It will turn to dust. It will go back to dust. The body goes back to dust, but not the soul. The soul is eternal. In the same way, the bread, the bread that the devil suggested that Jesus would transform stones into, Jesus answered with a wisdom according to his word, that in Deuteronomy, Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone. Of course, that the body, our physical body, needs the daily bread. We need to drink water, we need to eat, to feed ourselves, we need to sleep, we need to take care of the body. It's right. No doubt about that. However, above all things, we have to take care of our soul. And that's why Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. What is the word? What is God trying to say through this word? That man shall live by the word. Because you 
are now attentive to the needs of your soul. For example, you are thinking, for example, in how you will involve yourself with somebody else, right? You want to get married, you want to build a family, or you want to be with somebody, you want to meet someone. I mean, you want to resolve the problems of your love life, your sentimental problem, isn't it? Because every human being wants to have a partner in order to then they will be able to meet their fundamental needs. And it's the soul that desires such thing. It's the soul. Just as the bread that feeds the body, there is also the bread that feeds the soul. And what is this bread that feeds the soul? It's the Word of God. It's the Word of God. So, when you read the Bible and you meditate on it, so you receive the Spirit. You feed your soul with the Spirit of the Word. So, you become strong. You become vigorous. You, let's say, become resilient. You are not easily carried away by ideas and thoughts anymore that are contrary to your faith, your Christian faith. And indeed, when Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed from God's mouth, he is saying that the most important thing is the soul. And if the soul is well, then the body will be well. The body will be glad. The body will be very glad. So, you have to be attentive to the need or the most important need of your life, which is your soul. Because it needs, it needs love, it needs care, it needs the Word, the living Word, it needs guidance from the Spirit. The Spirit is the Word. It's God Himself. The soul needs guidance. It needs to be led, conducted, so it will not suffer. When the, the psalmist or Solomon said that we should keep our heart diligently above all things, when God says, above all things, Guard your heart. That's what he meant, is to keep the soul, is to look after the soul and to provide to its needs, which is most people in the world don't care to do, but they are suffering. They suffer with an emptiness. They suffer with a deep void in themselves. It's the soul that it's screaming, I'm hungry, I'm alone, I'm desperate, help me. The person suffers with depression. It's the soul that is screaming. When depression comes, it's because the soul is at the bottom of the pit. And then the person thinks of committing suicide. But in reality, they kill the body, but not the soul. Because no one can kill the soul. The soul doesn't die. So, when a person rejoices, it's the soul that is rejoicing. When the person gets sad, it's the soul that gets sad. When a person eats a nice dish, then it's the body that is thankful. But when the soul rejoices, when the person rejoices, it's the soul that rejoices. When they get sad, the soul is the one groaning inside of the body. Because when the soul detaches from the body, the body is good for nothing else. Nothing else. So, if the person uses their intelligence, they will agree that the Word of God, the Word of God, 
is what gives life to the soul. And the soul obviously provides to the needs of the body. So you have to understand, my friend, that above all things that you should keep, and that's the authority that God has given us, we have to keep our soul. He is not going to keep it for us. We have to keep our soul ourselves. And when we protect going to church, hearing the word, because the word of God brings faith. The hearing of the word is what brings faith. And the devil, knowing that, he also uses of the word, the word, the word of what? Of doubt. In order to make the human soul to feel alone and abandoned and despised, the person feels sad, empty. Why? Because the devil speaks, uses the word to bring doubts. So just as God uses the word to bring faith, the devil uses the word to bring doubt. That's it. And you or your soul is waiting. Okay, who are you going to listen to? Then your spirit, your intelligence, your reasoning tells your soul, come on, let's listen to the voice of God because the voice of God strengthens you so and the body will be glad. However, if the soul is rebellious, if the soul despises the word of God, for sure it will give ears to the voice of doubt and fears and insecurity. And that's why many people save money, they are worried about their future. But what future? What future? The future of your body? Well, if I have a house, I'll guarantee the future of my children. But what then? You are going to die, your children are going to take over the house, but then they will die, and it will be for their children, and everybody will be dying and dying, and the house will be left behind. But how about the soul of all these people? What about the soul? Where is it going? Which is the heart, isn't it? Representing the soul. The soul is represented by the heart. So you have to agree with me that if your heart, if your soul is ill, you are going to suffer, which is what the world has been suffering. Recent statistics have shown that Around 350 million people in the world are suffering with depression. But I believe that it's a lot more, a lot more, a whole lot more. Because the soul, the human soul is hungry, thirsty. And only the Word of God is capable of meeting its needs. Think about that, my friend. Read the Bible. Meditate in the Word of God. Don't be hearing or just listening to my words or the, the life that is here daily. Read the Bible. Meditate upon it. And God will speak to you. God will teach you what you should do. He knows your needs. And for sure, He will guide you to read what He wants to speak to you. Okay? May God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank God.